Hi, my name is Greg Pellia. I'm with West Roofing Systems, and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how strong is a spray foam and coating roof. Um, certainly, you want a roof that can handle foot traffic, uh, handle some minor damage. Um, it'd be kind of pointless to have a roof that can't handle all that and your roof would be leaking. So we're going to talk about how strong it is because people think foam. Is that the stuff that goes like packing peanuts, that kind of foam? Or is it like the foam that's in interior insulation, that stuff? Um, it's not the same. So we're going to get into some numbers here. Um, but the quick answer is that spray foam used for roofing is closed cell. It's three pound foam and it's more denser than the commonly used polyisoboard that's used on traditional roofing systems. Um, it allows for foot traffic, you can get a warranty on it, and uh, you know it, it definitely won't be impacted by anything, any normal wear and tear. Um, the compression strength of foam and coating um, is 40 to 80 pounds per square inch. Um, it's similar to the strength that your refrigerator sits on, um, so definitely very, very, very strong. Um, there is a difference between, the, I mean, there's spray foam that gets installed and the coating goes over top of that. There's no PSI for the coating, but it's the fo foam and coating is the same roofing system. Like there are two parts to one system. So when the foam has 40 to 80 pounds per square inch, and that's that's good enough to represent the whole the whole system. Uh, people have asked, you know, can a crack or a puncture happen on a foam roof? Um, sure, that could happen. Um, hail damage um, has made cracks or punctures. Um, people with very you know sharp um, boots on there, maybe with teeth on the bottom of their boots would make an impact. Um, certainly happen, you know. Someone drops a nail and it gets stepped on. You know that will definitely crack or puncture a spray foam roof. But every roofing system out there, maybe besides metal, can get cracks or punctures. But what's good about a foam roof is that it has closed cell properties. So say there's hail damage and it cracks a couple uh, parts of the roof, and it rains the next day. Well, rain will just sit in that crack or puncture and it won't move. It won't travel further south into the roof. Now, if that happens on a single ply roof um, and it has a little crack in it. The water will get in there and get into that polyiso board which has open cell properties. The water will get in there and it'll travel south all the way and just keep going um, until it hits to your, your roof deck and probably into your building. Huge difference between a foam roof because it's an inch and a half of closed cell properties. So like I said, if it gets a hole in it, water will just sit there and not move. It's one of the best characteristics of a foam roof. And uh, like I said, will a roof leak with a cracker puncture? I kind of just said it before, a spray foam roof will not leak. Unless it goes all the way to the roof deck and water just keeps continuing to come in. But huge difference between foam, foam roof and a non-foam roof is with the closed cell and open cell insulation. Um, that's really it for today. Um, there's no worries about a foam roof not lasting foot traffic and normal wear and tear. Uh, if you want to learn more details, uh, there's a URL in the description. I hope you learned at least one thing on new today and I'll see you next time. Thank you.